A language isn't a written language, it's an oral language and storytelling. I contracted polio back in 1960, so I spent my life um, uh, in disabilities. Now I've been working in disabilities for almost 40 years. And I was approached to develop an artwork um, depicting the Royal Commission. And it was quite a privilege, really, um, quite an honour, but also a bit of responsibility to, uh, to produce something that'll work in our community. We've depicted the commissioners as elders in their own right, because actually they are in community. So the artwork starts off with the seven, el seven elders coming together um, to start the, um, the, the Royal Commission. The symbol for a person in our artwork is the U-shape, because that's the shape you leave in the sand after getting up having a yarn. And they're going to go around and collecting stories from our community, stories um, of people that have experienced uh, abuse, neglect, violence and exploitation. So the way we depicted that was by depicting a message stick. Now in the centre of it, we've put in three um, circles and those circles represent the three years that the Royal Commission will run for. We also developed a symbol for disability uh, because there's no word for disability in our language. So if you're someone like me that has a you know, bunged up leg, uh, you'll leave a different shape in the sand to somebody else. We've used some examples too of what um, abuse, neglect and exploitation and violence may look like in our community. So one of the symbols used in the artwork shows a group of people around with kulama baskets, uh, which are the traditional way that we used to carry food and carry children, full of food, full of berries, and then an elder sitting to one side, not being included. It was quite a thing to uh, translate these modern day issues into symbols that we've used for thousands of years. This is a much more appropriate way to invite people to come and engage rather than you know, a flyer or a fact sheet or documentation with all this text and written story. It's more inviting to say, you know, this is, you're invited to come along and participate in this um, and you can tell your story in any way that suits you.